All right, so I'm going to be talking about uh, the three phases to catching a moving object. Um, the first one, initial positioning of arm and hand, and then the shaping of your hand to catch an object, and then grabbing that object with your fingers. Um, these three phases are pretty much determined by the flight of the ball that you're looking at. Um, so, like that, basically. Um, it just, it's just broken down into how far that ball is in its flight path. So if the start, right when the ball's thrown, uh, that's where you start flexing your elbow, extending your fingers. And then about halfway through, um, that's when you start positioning. And then your hands start widening it out. And then at the end, right before you're about to catch, that's the final placement of your fingers so you can catch the ball. That little girl's not catching a ball, guarantee it. And then the amount of visual contact uh, needed to catch an object. Um, there are two critical times you need constant visual contact. The first being the initial flight portion of the ball. And then right before you make contact uh, with the ball, with your hands. Those are the two uh, times you need constant to constantly be looking at the ball or else you're not catching it. It'll be tough. And then uh, to answer uh, the vision of your hands is necessary to catch a moving object, like to have your hands in your line of sight. Um, if you're inexperienced and you're not very good at it, then yes, it's pretty crucial too. It's a pretty crucial step to it. Um, but if you, if you know how to catch a ball and you've done it for a while, you know that you don't need to be seeing your hand to catch a ball. Anyways, that's it.